week's player profile, we sit down with Wes from the Smash Brothers community. He shares his history with the game and his thoughts on the upcoming title, Super Smash Brothers 4. My name is Antoine uh, D.A. West, Lewis Hall, and the character I play with in Super Smash Brothers that I play competitively is Samus Aran. She has a lot going for her. She has little tricks you could do. You have to utilize all that she has. If not, you, you know, you potentially lose. And on top of that, she's one of my favorite video game characters. The main reason why I like Smash Brothers is because it's a four player fighting game slash party game. And um, teams I prefer more than singles. And teams takes a little bit more strategy because you can't just throw out any moves. You kind of have to work together with your teammate, have team combos. And quite frankly, I don't like playing games by myself. I like playing in a group of people because you know it's just fun in the, in the being in a social environment. What made me see that I had to take my gaming to another level is when I first entered the tournament in New York City, uh, which was called Ben. I always got second place or third place, but I would always leave their winning teams some way, somehow. But that tournament kind of pushed me to be more of a well-known figure in the um, Smash community on the East Coast because after Ben, I just took New York by storm. I started winning a lot of tournaments outside of Ben that got bigger than Ben. I have about two memorable moments of Smash. Um, the first one was me and um, PC Chris at MLG, where I just felt we got robbed by the continuing series. That was one. I mean, it was still a good tournament, but I just felt that we should have known about that a lot earlier. The second memorable moment for me was uh, FC Crew Battles, where I took about six stocks from the West Coast, pretty much almost sealing the deal of our uh, victory, because if I didn't take six stocks off of the West Coast, East Coast probably would have been in trouble. Me and Azen, I think, held the East Coast down on um, one of the first and the best of all time, um, East Coast versus West Coast crew battles. That's, those are my top two most memorable moments of Smash. My thoughts on Smash 4 are, I hope it's a little bit better than Super Smash Bros. Brawl. At least just take out the things that made it less entertaining and less enjoyable for the players and the people who spectated matches. Just to build the community more, bring more characters outside of, I guess, the Smash world. One of the reasons why me and a few of my DA team members took, I guess, a hiatus on playing competitively. So what we did was we formed a not-for-profit organization named uh, SOS Gamers. So we do a bunch of events, like go to nursing homes, and we entertain the elderly by playing, you know, we sports resorts, things of that nature with them. We um, held community outreach events with the New York City Police Department. We've done events for um, breast cancer awareness. Right now, what we're currently trying to do is raise enough money to build up a community center so we can get computers and things of that nature so people who are less privileged could come in and do things like, I guess, make resumes, um, go online and just do the simple things that you know people like myself and others probably take for granted. Smash Brothers, it did make me who I am today. It made me a little bit more, I mean, even though I had confidence in myself, it gave me a little bit more confidence in other things that I've done. It definitely boosted up my social skills with, with different personalities. I mean, it was just a good experience. I wouldn't change it for the world. Like, if I had to do it again, I would, I would do it all over. All right.